Hello from San Antonio. This is Saren Tayro. Welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. Am I on his or her mind? This reading is timeless. And for this reading, I'm using four different decks. I'll shuffle and pull four cards from each deck to form four different piles. All of my pick a card readings are for the general collective for entertainment purposes. If anything does resonate, that could be synchronicity. However, I do emphasize entertainment purposes. I am always available for private, in-depth, personal readings, which are done on the webcam as pre-recorded, unlisted videos. All of my information, including my PayPal address, and links to my red bubble are in the description box. I have two different red bubble accounts. I have my original Misty Rainwater Lights, that's my name, and I have a new one for Siren Tarot. So I got these two acrylic blocks from my original red bubble account. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, uno, dos, the next time I brave the camera, I will wear my Siren Tarot t-shirt that I had made at Redbubble. So that'll be exciting. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is a new thing here. I'm using a tripod. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. No, I don't want a commercial. Shut up. I don't want to hear that bullshit. Skip ads. I'm going to have to just break down and splurge on YouTube Premium. That's all there is to it. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos. Cuatro, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, uno, dos, tres. Cuatro. My newest deck. I originally bought this deck before I had a channel years ago at Dollar Tree. I couldn't believe they had tarot at Dollar Tree. And then I used the deck for collage purposes. And then when I started the channel, I thought, fuck, I should have saved that deck. And so I went on eBay and spent a lot more than $1 on this deck because I just like it so much. It's so kitschy. Three moss. Here, I'll do a good hard shuffle. Oh, 
know these gloves are fucking things up. Uno. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Bueno, four beautiful piles. This is pile one. This is pile two. This is pile three. And this is pile four, quattro. If you chose pile one, here is your reading. We have King of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Two of Pentacles, King of Cups, Two of Pentacles again. I am seeing mutuality here, mutual feelings. Here of fun. The Hanged Man. Three of the Oros. Three of Pentacles. The Hanged Man. El Colgado. The Here of fun. El Sumo Sacerdote. Two of Pentacles. Dos de Oros. The Lovers. Los Enamorados. Justice, La Justicia. Ace of Chalices, Azticopas. Eight of Swords, Ocho de Espadas. King of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, my personal favorite. I am seeing relationship here. My readings are pretty much all non-linear. This can be past, present, future. At some point in this connection or relationship, I'm seeing intense 3D involvement. I'm seeing a substantial relationship. I see two people on the same page, two people who want the same thing, and there is deep love, definitely a spiritual connection. Knight of Cups, romantic feelings. Five of Wands, sexual tension, conflict, drama. Yes, you are on 
this person's mind. Your energy is ever present in this person's consciousness. They feel your energy all the time. I feel like you've had cycles with this person. Um, if you were not married at one time or living together, I see the two of you creating that reality. I see the two of you sharing a home, possibly creating a family together. But with the lovers and Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups under the hanged man, definitely a deeply felt spiritual connection. You can regard this person as a soulmate or a twin flame, perhaps, but definitely romantic feelings. And I do see mutuality. I see both people thinking of each other in a similar way. I see a lot of respect. I see shared values and interest. So it's not just a sexual attraction. It's not just a spiritual connection. You have things in common, so you can have compatibility in the 3D. Um, you could have square Mars in your sinistry. One example of many, your person could have his or her Mars at 14 Aries. And you could have your Mars at 15 Capricorn, tight square. So with Mars square, there are going to be conflicts. But if you have enough support from other connections in your sinistry, that can be easily overcome. That can also add to sexual attraction. Really good, lusty sex. And that's good to have that combination. That's pretty rare to have this deep romantic spiritual connection and to also have good, lusty sex. But I do definitely see marriage here. King of Pentacles twice in the same row, the first row, no less. King of Pentacles sandwiching the lovers and two of Pentacles. You probably match in some way. You probably both have strong earth in your natal charts. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Mercury. You could have an earth conjunction. You could have Mars, Venus, and Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You could have a Mercury conjunction. But I feel like you and this person have quite a lot in common and you have a similar view of the world. You have a similar sense of humor. You have similar taste. You probably have really good moon sinistry. You could have the conjunction, tied or five degrees or less. I feel like you come from a similar background. Could be you were both, you were both brought up Catholic or in some kind of strict organized religion. But I feel like you have a very similar background, a similar upbringing. Your person is a hard worker and they take commitment extremely seriously. This is not the energy of a flake. This is not the energy of a player. This person's pretty serious, um, very strong work ethic. They're also romantic. Most people don't see that, but you know, deep down inside, this person is very romantic where you're concerned. It could be they were more matter of fact, they were colder in previous relationships, but with you, they have stars in their eyes. There's magic here for pile one. So yes, you're definitely on your person's mind. Always. Two sixes, there you go. You both see the value in this connection. There is true love here. And we have Aquarius and Four of Wands and two, Cancer, the Moon. So good moon sinistry. And I feel like you have really in-depth, stimulating conversations, not just small talk. So... If that resonates, let me know in the comments. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Muchas gracias.
again if you chose pile two. Three of Cups, Tres de Copas. Two of Swords, Dos de Espadas. Ace of Swords, Os de Espadas. Six of Wands, Ses de Bastos. Rey of Orals, King of Pentacles. Cuatro de Culpas, Four of Cups. La Rey de Fortuna, Will of Fortune. Those de Espadas, Two of Swords. King of Swords, Rey de Espadas. Three of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. I'm seeing an impossible situation or it feels impossible. I see a lot of blocks and obstacles for pile two. Could be multiple party, meaning that you and your person are with other people. You're in intense commitments you can't just walk away from. There are probably young children involved. If that's not if that's not the case, if this is not multiple party or third party, then I don't know. I just see chaos. I see a lot of things going on here, a lot of responsibilities. Knight of Pentacles. Uh, the devil. You could have considerable distance between you. I'm talking an ocean. You could be on different continents. You've known this person for a while. Nine of Wands. The Magician. Right now, it feels impossible. Right now, it feels like it's out of your control. You feel like you can't manifest a satisfying relationship with your person of interest. Um... This person is not really thinking about you. They're not thinking about you in a romantic or sexual way. What I'm seeing is they just feel frustration. They're stressed. They've got a lot going on, especially if they are in a marriage with young children. That's a lot right there, but also, you know, we have this stuff going on globally. It's a timeless reading, but... If you watch this video when I publish it, July 2020, we've got a lot going on. So there's that. And then they've got work. This person works his or her ass off. I'm just seeing a lot of responsibilities. I'm seeing someone who's overloaded. Uh, they're not happy. They're in a low vibration. They're not taking care of themselves. Um, Feel like if they're addicted to anything they're addicted to work they're focused on the bottom line they're focused on finances providing for a family um, and so they don't really have time to invest in a flirtation or they don't have time to explore a connection so they're not feeling high vibe they're not feeling um, sexual or romantic. They're stressed. They're overwhelmed. They probably have strong earth in their natal chart. They can't offer you anything right now. The best they could offer you in the foreseeable future is a situationship. And they're not even thinking of that. They're not thinking of any kind of sex. I just see this person is in a really rough predicament right now. 
They're not being gratified. Their life is not what they want it to be and they don't feel like they have the power to manifest a better reality. They're blocked. Um, so strong Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and our Mercury. They probably have really heavy Saturn in their natal chart. They could have a 10th house Saturn. They could have a Saturn that makes a lot of aspects. They probably have Saturn square Venus, one example of many. They could have Saturn at 22 Libra, squaring Venus at 23 Cancer, something like that. People who have any kind of Saturn Venus in their synastry, square, opposition, conjunction, trine, but especially I would say the square opposition, square or opposition. Uh, they don't believe in fairy tales. They probably don't believe in twin flames. Um, they're very entrenched in the 3D. They're very realistic. They're very... Hmm, matter of fact, when it comes to love. You're either together or you aren't. This person does not really indulge in 5D thinking, imaginative thinking. They don't sit around and ponder, well, what would happen if me and this person could get together if there are no obstacles? They're just always, always working and taking care of what's immediately in front of them. This is not a romantic person. This person's very pessimistic, cynical, down to earth, matter of fact, very 3D entrenched. Um, You could have strong earth in your chart as well, but you probably have a more dynamic astro combo. I see this person being really earth intense. You could have one example of many. You could have sun and Taurus, moon and Libra, Leo rising, something like that. So I see a stalemate. I see stasis. I see something stagnant. You probably have not communicated in months, possibly years in some cases, and I don't see anything changing in the foreseeable future for pile two. Um, yeah, you've known this person for a while and they very simply don't have anything to offer you at this time. They've got a full plate. There is a strong attraction. Um, this person is aware of your value. They know that, you know, if circumstances were different, maybe the two of you could have something. So they can see your value and they're very attracted to you, but this is simply not the focus of their life right now. They're not focused on this connection. Um, you could be more in Pisces, Neptune mode. You could be romanticizing this. You could be waiting around for something to manifest. Four and three, that's seven. Pisces, Neptune. One, Leo, the sun. I feel like your person has a very strong ego. They're very proud. They're very stubborn. Uh, they're not going to just surprise you with a direct message, text message, phone call and just spill their heart at your feet. This person doesn't operate like that. I see a lot of resistance, a lot of obstacles for pile two. So if that resonates, let me know in the comments, like, comment, share, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, which is gracias. And if you chose pile three, we have seven of pentacles, ace of wands, Seven of Wands, Judgment, Nueve de Oros, Nine of Pentacles, Radius Badas, King of Swords, La Muerte, Death. Rene de Oros, Queen of Pentacles. Seven of 
Six of Cups, The Magician, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups, Judgment, Ten of Wands. Well, this is very similar to Pile 2. This is not especially romantic. Um, this person has a lot of responsibilities. Their plate is full. They could be married. They could be going through a divorce. They could be sharing custody of young children with a toxic ex or an ex. They just have a lot of problems, a lot of drama, a lot of conflicts with. Um, you're probably single. You're probably focused on your abundance. And you have faith that eventually the two of you can connect again. You've probably been through cycles with this person. Could be an on again, off again, roller coaster type situation. But you feel this soulmate connection and you're feeling nostalgia, even though it ended pretty badly. Um, and they probably feel nostalgia as well, but I don't see them actively missing you, pining for you, longing for you. I don't see them focusing on this connection at this time because I feel like they've just got so much going on in their life. Um, I read nonlinear for the timeless readings. Um, I feel like this Ace of Wands was in the past. I feel like When the two of you met, it was a super strong connection, a super strong attraction. You looked into each other's eyes and you both felt something. It was like this soul recognition, this familiarity that goes along with Six of Cups, the soulmate connection. This person, when you met, I feel like they had their guard up, came across as very cold, aloof, Detached, they didn't let on how attracted they were to you. Um, there was probably some game playing, some running, chasing. Uh, they probably displayed ambivalence, but they felt the strong attraction to you when you first met. And they could have been fighting it off, they could have been guarded because they were in a committed relationship. And they felt like it wasn't really worth the effort because the two of you couldn't manifest anything. So why even give it any attention? They just felt pretty pessimistic. Um, the attraction was strong and they did feel this kind of soulmate recognition. But they thought it wouldn't make any sense to explore this at this time. I feel like you're in the back of this person's mind. You're always there, but they're not really consciously thinking of you. I don't see them missing you. I just see someone who has a lot going on. Um, and this is weird and random. I just picked this up. If they are married to someone, they could be having an affair with someone else. They could be flirting with someone who lives at a distance. They could be talking on social media. Um, but I feel like this person could be in a couple of different relationships right now. But I feel like there was a clear ending between the two of you and they're not focused on whatever it was you had at this time. I feel like this person has a really complicated natal chart. You know, a simple natal chart would be, say, someone who has sun, 
and Moon and Aries, Leo rising. With stuff in Sagittarius, someone who has a lot of fire, this is very scattered energy. So they could have Sun and Gemini, they could have Aries rising, they could have a Capricorn moon. Um, I'm just seeing a lot of scattering in their natal chart. This is a hard person to get to know. They don't let most people close to them. They definitely have a wall up. You probably have a lot of earth in your natal chart. Um, well, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, you could have earth and fire. One example of many, you could have sun and Virgo, moon and Aries. This person is trying to take the load off. They've got all this stress, all this stuff going on. They're trying to take the load off by exploring this superficial, pretty much exclusively sexual connection they have with someone. It could be just casual sex, but that's how they find relief from the stress in their life is what I'm picking up. So, no, it's a no for pile three. You're not on this person's mind. Six, Venus. I feel like you value this connection a lot more than your person of interest does. I feel like they pretty much let go. They've walked away from this, but you're still holding on. We have another six. Again, there was a strong attraction when you first met, uh, but I feel like you were both in situations where you couldn't really explore this connection, and so it was just kind of a stalemate. Five, frustration and communication, Mercury. Mercury twice, which rules Gemini and Virgo. You could have your Mercury square or in opposition, but I'm not seeing satisfying communication. I'm not seeing communication that just flows. Uh, they could have blocked you on social media. You might have blocked them, but I see just very unsatisfying energy for pile three. So if that resonates, let me know in the comments. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Muchas gracias. And if you chose pile four, we have the Page of Cups. Hanged man, two of wands, the devil, el sol, the sun. Ace of Cups. Yeah, I think it's safe to say you are on this person's mind. Caballo de Bastos, not a wands. Sexual and romantic thoughts. So that they espadas, page of swords. If you have not been in communication in quite some time, I do see that changing. Nine of Pentacles. You're probably... <clears throat> in a really high vibration right now. <clears throat> You're feeling good about yourself and life, the life that you've manifested, the life you've created, the moon, la luna. You could be into law of attraction, four of wands. And that's what you want to manifest with this person. You want to manifest this beautiful reunion, this harmonious union, this beautiful sacred marriage. Ten of pentacles, you want marriage. The Fool, El Loco. Will of Fortune. Three of Cups. Seven of Wands. I see something worth fighting for. I see the wedding and the reception and the honeymoon. I see two people who think very highly of each other. I don't see any bitterness here. I don't see any toxicity. I don't see any bullshit. So if you haven't talked in quite some time, it could be that 
this was just a really strong connection that wasn't taken to the next level. It wasn't um, it wasn't turned into a relationship. It was just a connection is what I'm picking up. But there's all this potential, all this unrealized potential. It could be you have considerable distance between you. Um, I'm not really picking up third party. Of course, that's always a possibility. Um, but I feel like you've been single for quite some time working on yourself and you have respect for yourself and you're very aware of your value and that radiates, people pick up on that. And so lately, I feel like you've been a magnet. You've been manifesting like crazy. I feel like you're in a really good place in your life right now. And this person is thinking of you and they have tremendous respect and love and sexual feelings. I feel like you're both just trusting in divine timing. You're not going to rush this. You know that it's good. You know there's a lot of potential here. You could possibly regard each other as twin flames or soulmates, but this is not an average connection. This is not something you find every day. You both know the value of this. And I do see this person coming in like the Knight of Wands, but it's not just going to be about sex because the Knight of Wands is over the Four of Wands and Three of Cups. So I'm seeing marriage here. Ten of Pentacles in the last row. I definitely see marriage. I feel like when you and this person are in communication, it's pretty clear. Um, there's no misunderstandings or miscommunication. You want the same thing. You've both done the work. You know who you are. You know what you want. I see maturity and a lot of life experience here. You both believe this connection is worth fighting for. Maybe you dropped it because you've had other things going on. Um, you know, life, just circumstances, jobs, careers. But even if you stopped communicating, you never, the two of you never turned your back on this. You always left the door open so that you could come back and take it from connection to full-fledged, substantial relationship. You probably both have strong fire, fire and water in your natal chart. So one example of many, your person could have sun and Leo, Pisces moon. You could have sun and Aries, Cancer moon, something similar. But yeah, the fire and water absolutely dominates this. Sagittarius, Pisces, Leo. We have the Leo Aquarius axis, the most creative axis in Western astrology. Sun, Leo, the full Aquarius. I feel like you inspire each other. You could be a muse to this person. It could be that they're a musician or an artist or a writer and you're their muse. So yes, you are on this person's mind and won't resonate with everyone, that's impossible. But for a lot of you, I see this leading to marriage eventually. Six, true love. Six and three, that's nine, Mars, Aries. There's not any ambivalence here. When this person comes for you, they're going to be very clear, you know, I want a relationship. I want marriage. You're the one that I've waited for all my life. Let's do this. One, Leo, the sun, two, Cancer, the moon. So there's strong masculine and strong feminine energy here. You absolutely complement each other. So that is what I have for pile four. And that does conclude this pick a card reading. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing and sharing. <clears throat> Sending you all massive love and light from San Antonio.